YouTube. So, new gun. It is a very, very weird gun. It is the Double Tap, made by Double Tap Defense. It is very, very small. It is empty. So, as you saw, it just pops right open. It's ambidextrous, right here, and same switch right here. Now, I actually use both index finger and thumb. It's pretty easy to hit. It's pretty easy to hit with just one of them. But it is a very, very sharp little button. Very sharply textured. And it digs into you if you just use your index finger or your thumb. So I use both every time I open it. So as I showed you, empty. Extremely, extremely simple gun. It's just two pulls of the trigger, two shots. There you go. Pop it open, dump them out, put in two more. It is ported. Both barrels are ported. It does have sights, they do work. You've got this very small notch here, just a groove cut in the top, and you have a very small front sight. But what's neat about this little guy, well, I'll show you a size comparison first. So this is against my 357, a five shot snub nose 357. That's where the real difference lies. I mean, it's the almost the same thickness as the thing without the cylinder. And then the grips are also thicker. Trigger pull is not, not very heavy. Much lighter than a double action revolver. And not extremely long. It's hard to pull that way. Not extremely long. Not considering that by most people are just going to toss it in a pocket. It actually does fit even in a shirt pocket. And if you've got anything over the top, any light jacket at all, totally disappears. Fit in any little pocket. So what it shoots is, what makes it really neat, they do make a 9mm version, but this one is the 45 ACP. So you're shooting a pretty substantial round, and you've got two of them. So you just drop them in, close it up, and you're ready to shoot two times. Pop it open, they drop right out. Empties drop out pretty easy too. Every once in a while I just got to give it a tap. They drop out. And then here in the handle, you have a little door. You can pull out. You got two more. Drop them in there. I have not practiced with the little strip very much. Then you just tear a little strip off. And you got two more. Or... They also make a six round little strip that comes with it. Sorry guys. They make a six round little strip that you can just toss in your pocket. And what would be really cool about this little guy is if you have any sort of little survival kit and you're using this gun, even in a holster, because they do make little holsters for these things, you have a pretty, pretty large area where you could keep stuff. Pretty good size area. The area is a little bit bigger than this setup. Whoop, almost dropped the thing. Then this, the area is bigger than this. So you, you can put a little bit of stuff in there. Or you've got your two extra rounds. So you can see you've got a little bit of extra space actually almost got you have using a 45 to measure you have approximately that much more space so most of a 45 so if you use the 9 millimeter version you could probably sneak a whole extra 9 in there so kind of a neat little pistol now, a uh, warning to anybody who's thinking that would be really cool to uh, have and shoot. It's not that fun to shoot because it is only 0 0.662 inches across. So it's very, very narrow. Again, for a comparison, on the 357, you can see the, the grips are huge on the little 357 compared to this thing. I mean, even if you want to compare something real crazy. Even this thing 
the grips are huge compared to it. So when this comes back at you with 45 ACP recoil, which isn't normally a lot of recoil, it's a lot of recoil on this thing. This weighs, with two in here and loaded, it weighs one pound and half an ounce. So for carrying, it's very, very nice, because you're only carrying about a pound of weight on you with four 45 ACVs in it. But when you got into the range, it, it kicks really, really hard. And you can see where those, where those barrels are lined up. It comes pretty, pretty straight back at you. I mean, you can see the bottom one is almost in line right here. It just comes right back at your hand real fast and real hard. And I like recoil. I love shooting the 44 mag and the 357. I love anything that's got recoil. But this, and I don't mind this thing, but it's it hits. A real nice carrier, though. Especially a nice backup if you carry a 45 ACP and you want to carry the same caliber as a backup. So, that is it for this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!